As promised, Miss Jamie is back to show you slightly more specifically with a couple of markers how to do the name monster portion of your activity options. Now, you've got your hot dog style folded piece of paper. You're going to write your name really big so that the ends, um, the ends, the bottoms of everything touch or go over the line. So it might be a good idea to have a second piece of paper that just kind of sits under it so that you don't write on the table. Your grown-up probably doesn't want you writing on the table. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to do mine in cursive because I think it makes it loopier and it makes your monster look funnier. But if you only know how to print, that's okay too. The key is to make them big. And dark. They really should be really dark. I should have used the blue one. I'm going to go over this because if it's dark, it's easier to see and be able to trace. Ah, Miss Jamie can't trace at all. There we go. Okay, so we've got Miss Jamie. And then what we're going to do is I think it might it really just might work a little easier if you fold it. And then trace it. So if you fold it and you trace it cuz you can see it then. Theory, we're supposed to be practicing our symmetry, making sure that things are the same on both sides. But Jamie is not always very good at that, and I think, yeah, I goofed a little bit. But see how you've got, you've then got two versions of it. You've got the the lighter one because you did it on both sides. Just pick one one of the sides, whichever one you think looks better, and then you can go back over. Words. Ooh, try that. Ooh, sorry, Miss Jamie couldn't talk and do that at the same time. That was a little tricky. Okay, so see how in theory you're supposed to, things are supposed to match up like that. So you've got this goofy looking little, that looks like a bug, really. And it should have matched, Miss Jamie kind of goofed and didn't get her M spaced quite well enough there. And then all you have to do is you take this and you like just add in some like eyeballs. Um... And maybe some cute little eyelashes. And then you can color in pieces. I'm just going to do a couple. So that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, add little hmm, polka dotty things. You could do... There. See? <laughs> they, come out, they come out pretty cool. It's kind of different. It's unique. Um, and really, there's no wrong way to craft, so if you think Miss Jamie added 13 steps she didn't need to do, um, go ahead and skip those steps. It's okay. Um, otherwise, I'm all done. I'm good. This is everything you needed to know. I will see you next week. Like I said, we're going to talk farm animals at family story time. So, bye.